Hey, welcome to the 29th floor. I'm Noah Robichon here with Fast Company's Mark Wilson, and we're here to talk about the new Apple products, which you've probably heard all about. The big thing that we want you to take away is that the Steve Jobs era is definitely over. Yeah, I think what we're seeing now is Apple going from that, remember that really simple product philosophy from that old parable where Steve Jobs is up at the whiteboard and says, you know, we only have, really have three products. Right, three, three legs of the chair. <laughs> right, right. Um, and I, I think that's gone. I, now that Apple's a really big company, now that Wall Street's leaning on them, what we're seeing is uh, they're just releasing more and more and more products. Um, and that's because I, I think Apple is trying to offer options at every price point, sort of like what we saw Sony or Samsung do if, if you want to go out and buy a camera at Best Buy. They're copycatting a bunch of companies, both large and small now. You see them copying a stylus pencil from the company 53 that had it before. You see and them- they even named it, they named it Pencil. They even named which, it Pencil, which, which is 53's same product name. You see them with an accelerometer in the Apple TV remote control that's just like what you get in your Wii or on your Roku remote control now. It's unclear in every case whether they made improvements. I think in some cases they make improvements and in some cases the original product was just as good. And I think what they're delivering is basically saying like, hey, we know you want this stuff so we're just gonna add it in because, well, we don't really have a better idea at this point. Is that, is that what's going on? I, I mean, I look at the iPad Pro and I do feel like that's what happened, right? Like they gave us the iPad as an alternative to the laptop. And then they thought, well, some people really want a laptop though. So we'll turn the iPad back into a laptop. It does feel like they're sort of responding to um, I don't know, do people want a keyboard with our iPad? Sure, like we can figure that out. In their defense, as Steve Jobs biographer Rick Detzelli pointed out, you know, it took 25 years to sort of break the PC computing paradigm and come up with this mobile universe that they have perfected. And so it's kind of unrealistic to think that so soon after that last breakthrough, we're gonna see some major new innovation coming out of Apple. You know, I mean, it's like, they're just not gonna be able to blow our minds and introduce you know, iTunes and the iPod and the iPhone again. Like well, that mean, happens once in a generation. Maybe, I mean, there are the arguments, right? The Kurzweilian arguments that, that progress is accelerating. Um, and we are also about 10 years into this paradigm that Apple sort of shifted with the iPhone. Like not quite, but we're getting there. And, and we are seeing new devices, VR devices, and all of these really experimental things now. Um, so I agree, maybe it's a little bit early, but do you think it'll really be another 15 years before we get there? I don't think anybody thinks that now. That's interesting. I mean, I, you know, it may happen more quickly than that. What I will say is I don't think it's gonna come out of Apple. Uh, it's gonna come from another company, just as, you know, Apple invented mobile computing and took it away from the companies that had owned the PC era. Uh, so I think that is gonna be a change. But I will also say that in the meantime, Apple is making some interesting kind of smaller breakthroughs and innovations that are worth noticing. And mm -hmm. I think like with the watch now having third party apps, we're gonna start to see all of these incremental innovations that still add up and make you say like, wow, I still want these products. They're still really cool, but you're just not gonna have the same, you know, industry shifting kind of movement that you saw in the past, at least for, you know, several more years out. Well, we wanna hear from you. Is the Steve Jobs era of innovation over at Apple? Or are you looking forward to embracing these new products and the incremental innovation we're seeing is enough? Hashtag 29th floor on Twitter. Let us know what you think. Thanks.